Good evening, I'm Gigi Arnetta with your InfoWars Nightly News this Monday, August 12, 2013. Here's what's coming up. Tonight, the NSA has no plans to stop spying, so get used to it, America. The lies fueling the destructive drug war have begun to crumble. And Gigi Arnetta sits down with Mike Cargill to discuss your Second Amendment rights. All this and more on the InfoWars Nightly News. Top story tonight, former NSA boss says that the government's going to continue surveillance, so you better get used to it. Former NSA and CIA boss Michael Hayden went on Face the Nation Sunday and told America the NSA's Fourth Amendment busting surveillance program is lawful, effective, and appropriate. That the oversight regime for this was already quite good. He pointed out there have been no abuses under him or under his predecessor. The president is trying to take some steps to make the American people more comfortable about what it is we're doing, that's going to be hard because, frankly, Bob, some steps to make Americans more comfortable will actually make Americans less safe. What you're not reading about is the government actually abusing these programs and uh, you know, listening in on people's phone calls or inappropriately reading people's emails. If you are the ordinary person and you start seeing a bunch of headlines saying uh, U.S. Big Brother looking down on you, collecting telephone records, etc. Well, understandably people would be concerned. I would be too if I wasn't uh, inside the government. As you noticed, he was telling the people right in front of him, which was the press, that they weren't really being wiretapped and spied on. FEMA was demanding 24-hour delivery of emergency food reserves. This was on our InfoWars page. FEMA recently contacted My Patriot Supply, a provider of bulk food reserves, requesting immediate delivery of truckloads of food within a 24-hour period. Instead of soliciting for the food in the normal manner via the Federal Business Opportunities website and, you know, thereby saving money, FEMA is now directly contacting suppliers in order to secure overnight delivery of bulk foods. The snapshot above shows one of the emails my Patriot Supply received from FEMA. Now, Patriot Supply has said that they've decided to decline doing business with them, so I want to make sure that you know that this is a new development, and they say that they prefer not to take care of the 24-hour delivery that they were requesting. Dr. Sanjay Gupta mentions why I changed my mind on weed, saying he didn't look hard enough until now. I didn't look far enough. I didn't review papers from smaller labs in other countries doing some remarkable research. And I was too dismissive of the loud chorus of legitimate patients whose symptoms improved on cannabis. They didn't have the science to support that claim. And I now know that when it comes to marijuana, neither of those things are true. It doesn't have a high potential for abuse and there are very legitimate medical applications. In fact, sometimes marijuana is the only thing that works. Take the case of Charlotte Fiji, who I met in Colorado. She started having seizures soon after birth. By age three, she was having 300 a week, despite being on seven different medications. Medical marijuana has calmed her brain, limiting her seizures to two or three a month. We now know that while estimates vary, marijuana leads to dependence in around 9 to 10 percent of its adult users. By comparison, cocaine, a Schedule II substance with less abuse potential than Schedule I drugs, hooks 20 percent of those who use it, and around 25 percent of heroin users become addicted. The worst is tobacco, where the number is closer to 30 percent of smokers, many of whom go on to die because of their addiction. Meanwhile, in Wisconsin, the Solidarity sing-along singers are having issues with the police. They are now telling people not only if they are singing in the Capitol that they'll be arrested, but if you're watching. They're telling spectators, lawmakers, and even tourists that they can't watch the Solidarity sing-along in the Capitol because there's just too many people. Declaring this an unlawful event. 
Our Constitution has been decimated by the people that we elected to protect and serve. Well, in Wisconsin, you'll get arrested if you sing. If you go to SolidaritySingAlong.org, you'll see what's going on. This week, they've got up to 85 citations handed out, and they've arrested people for singing. The cops told bystanders, bystanders, including lawmakers and tourists, they told them that they had to leave. They said that they're going to leave because otherwise they were going to be arrested for watching an unlawful event. They declared it an unlawful event. Now, all of this is happening on the heels of a decision that was made on July 8th by U.S. District Judge William Conley that the Capitol Police's rule requiring a permit for any gathering of four or more people is unconstitutional. Conley ruled that the police could only require a permit for groups larger than 20. And they warned him for a week, saying that this was an unlawful event. At one point, there were at least 60 people down there on the floor. The Capitol Police continued their crackdown in the rotunda on Thursday. All of this happening at the Wisconsin State Capitol. Northern Road, number 205. Subject to arrest. We don't even live in Wisconsin. We don't. We're, 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 we're so they're tourists. He told me that uh, it has been declared an unlawful event uh, because there are more than 20 people here. I told him that I was not with the group that I was watching and that even though I was just watching, just videoing, I had to leave or I would be subject to arrest. The fines are up to $200 for assembling without a permit. So now you have to have a permit to sing at the Wisconsin State Capitol. Remember, the fight is on. Sign up for prisonplanet.tv today, and you can give your username and password to up to 10 people. I'm Gigi Arnetta with your InfoWars Nightly News Bulletin. So in Wisconsin, you get arrested for singing. There goes our First Amendment. In Miami, a man who's been locked up for 27 years may see daylight. He's a British man that's locked up for murder and he may walk away after stunning new evidence he was set up by bent cops and drug cartels. Finally free him. He was once a multi-millionaire food and property magnate whose horses raced the queens at Royal Ascot. Mr. Maharaj uh, has been a prisoner for 27 years and the first 16 of them on death row facing the electric chair According to papers reviewed by a Florida court last week, Mr. Maharaj was victimized by the pervasive environment of corruption and drug traffic endemic at the time, the 1980s, when cocaine money entered the bloodstream of the city of Miami. The result, say these documents, was a respectable businessman with an impeccable legal record who found himself trapped by corrupt police officers and witnesses who lied in order to protect the real killers the hitmen from Colombia's notorious Medellin drugs cartel. You might have remembered recently that the Air Force took 24 tons of cocaine to Miami from Costa Rica. You can see the article on Prison Planet. So who's the real criminal? And in New York, the NYPD stop and frisk program was ruled in violation of our rights. The NYPD's policy of stop and frisk tactics violates rights, the judge rules. No one should live in fear of being stopped whenever he leaves his home to go about the activities of daily life, Schindelin wrote in her opinion. In that case, incidentally, I think we disproportionately stop whites too much and minorities too little. So Bloomberg says he's going to appeal the ruling. And that's not surprising since he's really been pushing the stop and frisk program in New York. And a lot of youth are really having problems with it. And a lot of people are, too, because they stop a lot of people on the road for basically anything they feel like pulling you over for. Or if you're walking on a sidewalk, they'll stop and frisk you. So now for the Daily Quote by Thomas Paine. The cause of America is in a great measure the cause of all mankind. The real power lies in we, the people. So you sh show your support today. Go to prisonplanet.tv and give your username and password to up to 10 people. Vote with your dollars. This is a way to do it. Vote against tyranny. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid.
There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because today we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid.